Welcome back to the Star World Cup. The last game of today is Australia versus France. We've got legendary menswear, men's style, gorgeous, bloody blue eyes. Alain Delon versus the young pup, the Stranger Things thirst trap of Montgomery Dacre. Or is it Dacre Montgomery? What's his name? What These two names are insane. Dacre, Dacre Montgomery. Sounds like an old man, not an old man. Home team is France, so Alain Delon goes first. Got He's got Asian experience on his side. First up, we start with a, a, just a simple but great look. He's got like a chore jacket on and some short shorts, right? But I want to appreciate the chore jacket. I like to do this in the summer, just a chore jacket, nada underneath. You can button it up if you're out and about. But um, it's a solid look. This one might be made of like a toweling, which is even better. Um, and uh, and it's, it's got a long old medallion on. That's, I think, I think it works. Starting off pretty well. Next up, look at that immaculate barnet. Incredible. Shirts, now this is all gonna be a personal preference. Do you remember, your, it's your vote that counts. The polls will be up after this. Shirt button undone, three buttons, or two, or more. Um, Got a simple classic dress watch. He's smoking a fag. That's a cigarette for, for Americans. From here, high waisted navy trousers. Uh, a white shirt that's not fitted. It's just tucked in. It fits in really well. It's got that really great tanned complexion, immaculate hair, and a jumper over the top. Notice it's not tied around it. It's just draped over, which I personally prefer. Let's look here. One of my favorite looks in terms of a long sleeve polo and either trousers or jeans. He's gone black on black with the jeans, no belt. He's got brown sandals on though. That's questionable, but not completely against it. Is it because it's Alain Delon or is it because it actually looks good? I don't know. It's also turn ups on the jeans. And here he is, a uh, scarf just thrown over, um, a tweed blazer, and some of the sickest specs you can possibly find. I want to find some of these because I've seen a few people from the 70s and 60s wear these kind of glasses. I want a pair. Um, they're very effeminate, I guess, in terms of their design for like modern standards, but they're, they're pretty sick. And then lastly, I thought I'd throw in a picture from recent years. Still was wearing just, it was just a black suit, but it still looks immaculate, even though he's not got a tie, there's a top button done up. Still a little, little pocket square there, still the right amount of cuff. Uh, trousers, he's got a little break in them. Um, it's a great look, and, and again, it's still a great head of hair. Going against Dacre Montgomery. Okay, first up we've got, Dacre is wearing high-waisted, creamish off-white chinos, some suede light tan lace-ups, and like one of those silky pajama shirts everyone was wearing for ages. Uh, I don't know when this, this was taken at some sort of uh, Stranger Things 3, so I don't know when that was. But anyway, um, the we saw a lot of people wear these these tops. I don't I think this is a pretty good effort. Um, I'm a, the colours are a bit wild, but actually I think as a whole it, it works. I think it's, it's, it works absolutely fine. I think the pyjama top's been done now. I think we've sort of seen its day, but again, we don't know when that was taken. Next up, we've got this light grey uh, suit with a white shirt, which I think looks great, cut really well. But then when you see what's on his feet, it makes you want to cry. These are like, and, okay, I've, I'll take this back. I've looked closer and these are like jogging bottom slash trousers, which is just not, it's not for me. I get that there's some, a lot of people are wearing string uh, elasticated waistlines, which I can take or leave, but for the ankles, for the hem, no thank you, sir. Um, also wearing the same color, especially when it's gray, Chelsea boots to the suit, doesn't really work when it's all wrapped high and you can see your ankle, like the whole boot. He did, say, he did really well, to be honest, up, up, up until the, knees. Okay, here is, he's at, oh, one of the recent Lord of the Rings things. I actually really like this fit. I wouldn't go to a um, event with it, but I do actually really like the fit. I like the color of the shirt. I like the color of the trousers. They're kind of like cut off. And uh, 
I'm actually a big fan of the Birkenstocks, the Sway Birkenstocks. I like the colours, I think it's done really well there with that. Okay, next up, I want to give them a big shout out for this um, white tux. Not often you get younger people wearing, I don't actually know how old he is, he looks young, uh, just a white tux and it's really well fitted to him. So it's another look I wanted to look at. So he's got this little camp collar shirt in a sort of pastel-y pink, white vest underneath, light denim jeans, and then some off-white trainers, which is like, it's a, it's a nice look. I think the color palette is really nice. He's quite a pale guy, uh, so he does wash him out a little bit, but I do generally like the colors in total. Again, you have to consider that he might be in Australia at this point, so the, the, the climate plays, plays a big part in this. Like I personally wouldn't walk around London in most of the year like this. I think it's a little bit all it's a little bit too light for me as a whole as a whole palette but generally I do it's quite pleasing in terms of like the, the colour mix, the colour blend. Okay, so that was France versus Australia, Alain Delon versus Dacre Montgomery. Um, we'll have the polls up after this so check out YouTube community page, Instagram and TikTok, cast your votes, like and subscribe for more. We'll be back tomorrow for another with another four games. Stay tuned.